good morning my dear students now in this lesson insight into program execution how the programs we are writing and it will be executed in the computer system this we have to learn and we must know that what are the execution process during the compilation or interpretation of any program so in this how a computer program will interact with the uh, system software or the operating system or the hardware so simply you will write the code and that will be interacting in the hardware or the operating system is it like this no the source code which you are writing that will be compiled or interpreted and then after it will be usable to the computer system so in this whatever the languages we are having c c++ java .net, c sharp c hash whatever or python every language is based on compilation or interpretation process so there are different different processes for example in java java is compiler based process means in compiler it will be uh, read at once and all the errors will be shown to you in python this is the interpreter based language means one by one it will be understood by the computer system and it will show you the error in one one line in in compiler based program you have to resolve all the errors and then only you can move forward but in interpreter based language you have to resolve one one line error and you can compile again and you can move forward so in one one line execution this is easy to execute because we can check one one line error manually but in compiler section you have to read the program fully and then you have to understand how this kind of mistakes are coming and how we can resolve it there are few stages in both the processes in compiler also in interpreter also now these are basic flow of execution in this topic we will cover it basic flow of basic flow of executions basically what is this we are writing we are starting any code with the source code what is source code source code is the code written by the developer and it may be the combination of english maths and special symbols for example in python we are using comma apostrophe comma colon semicolon and then indentation means spaces and we are simply using english words to write the codes so all these are the source code which we are writing and that will be converted in the machine language now source code refers to the original code written in the programming language by a programmer now in this few points are there that you have to remember that when a programming programmer writes a program in the programming language it is called source code and but please note that here modern machine codes are not only the binary but it understand the hexadecimal and the decimal also means you know this very well that computer can understand binary but this is also true that computer can understand binary and other hexadecimal and octal and binary decimal also this is the major uh, change nowadays which is uh, coming in our day to day life so this we have to focus that how our computer system is working now from this onward we will not say that our computer system can only understand binary it can understand hexadecimal decimal and octal also now students so broadly you can say that programmer creates a program the source code which needs to be converted into binary and if the conversions which we have already discussed data will be saved in hexadecimal and octal as well and then after it will be converted in binary so broadly we are saying that it will be converted in binary as well now 
the execution process is we we have written program program this is the source code and it will be converted in binary form and then after execution and then after the execution so here in binary form any format any number system or any other data any type of data can be converted and then after it will be executed in the execution you will get your desired result what you want in this compiler and interpreter will help you compiler and interpreter will help you in this very simply you know this that compiler can read the program line by line sorry compiler can read the program at once and interpreter can read the program line by line in this compiler there are separate phases means we can't say that it will read uh, the whole program at once and it will give you the error there are separate phases and all the uh, this this and this both having the stages according to this stage it is working means the compilation process the compilation process in this compilation process uh, in some books you will get that six stages are there and in some books you will get that uh, four stages are there so very basic thing you are not supposed to go for the stages and you are not supposed to learn you have to go with the methods that how it is going on how it the flow is going on so the first is processing what do we mean by processing you have to understand it very well that the phase removes comments from the source code in processing part the phase the uh, source uh, means the comments which you have written or any other unwanted thing which is present in the program that will be removed for some language like c c++ that have preprocessor directives this phase carries out all the preprocessed directives such as macro substitution inclusion and header files means in this processor part in c++ as uh, some students may know java some students may know uh, c++ so you know that upside header files we are including so in this processing part it will be included in your program and all other type of comments will be removed from your program so this will be completely ready for the next phase means no other unwanted thing will be there and your program or your computer system will not search any supported supporting file for this execution means modules imported in a program using import import command are also added to the code during this phase means we are adding if we are adding any file that will be imported and that will be combined in this phase at the end of this phase your code is just ready for the execution for the next phase means everything will be included in this code in this phase in processing phase and everything what is unwanted that will be removed from the phase then after compilation then after compilation compilation will have the two sub parts number 1 analysis analysis number 2 is synthesis what is the meaning of analysis analysis phase the smallest individual unit 
is called tokens keyword identifiers literals operators in this analysis phase the compiler identifies all the tokens and the source code and their requirements and it will be created in the form of a tree or in the form of a list means all the tokens or all the keywords or identifiers whichever you uh, sorry whatever you have used in your program that will be segregated and in indexed form it will be created during this analysis phase then after the compiler creates a special type of table called the symbol tree for all the tokens and identifiers which you have used in your program that will be created in the indexed form and that is called symbol table and symbol table will be created in analysis phase this you have to remember this kind of question may come in your exam that uh, symbol table is created in which phase so you have to give the answer symbol table is created during this analysis phase next is your synthesis phase the back end phase this is called uh, first end phase and this is called back end phase then after the back end phase of the compiler phase of the code and generate syntax tree analyzing the syntax of the code with which you have written means it will create a tree like structure means hierarchical structure it will create so what is the use of this hierarchical structure in first processing phase it has included all the directives and the other supported files in this source code and it has removed all the unwanted comments in uh, compilation in analysis it has created the indexed form of all the tokens keywords which you have used and in synthesis phase it is created in the hierarchical form means which is most uh, having the priority most pr uh, priority thing that will be upside then next then next then next so it will be very easy to read the code for a machine so after creating a tree in the synthesis phase next is your assembly phase number 3 assembly phase as in assembly phase everything will be assembled in the proper manner so that your computer your machine can understand it now this phase receives the assembly level instructions and then convert it into object code means when everything is ready tree is ready tree means hierarchical structure is there your uh, uh, that uh, table that object table is created and your all the comments has been removed all the header files are included then what is the next in this assembly instructions now uh, is, will be there for your program to be converted in object code means source code will be converted in object code in this assembly phase then after linking after this assembly phase linking will be there now in this linking the codes which you have written it may be in different different modules you must know the concept of class class means what class basically holds all the objects the real time entities will be uh, kept inside the class so class will hold the object and the entities which is working that may have connection with each other means one or two objects may share their variables with each other so in this linking phase it will find that which component is linked with which component and according to the link it will transfer the data or the instructions like the object code receives by this phase is very much binary code but still computer can't execute it because linking of important libraries is yet to be done means the libraries which you have written like include maths or include string so that linking process has to be done in this phase means as i have said if any other file you have imported or if any variable is sharing any other data then in that will be performed executed in this phase 
now then after loader now loader will load the program in this uh, completed program in the memory so from here it will start it will include all the files and remove the comments in compilation your uh, token stable will be created in synthesis tree will be created in hierarchical manner in assembly phase everything will be assembled in a proper manner and linking header files will be imported or linked with the file in loader it will be loaded in the memory so basically this is the compilation process you have to read it and you have to remember it also now compiler software is not needed to run the executable file it is required just for the compilation purpose means you are not supposed to run this compilation process with exe files the files which you want to uh, install in your system but this is important to run that means after installation if you want to run that program then it will be useful for you now one more thing please note that the compiler works on whole program it converts all the line of the codes into the object code and then to the executable code if there is error then it will give you at the end of the program after reading the complete program there are many compiled languages such as c c++ c has and scala etc there are many interpreted languages are also there python perl php means compiler based languages are c c++ c has and scala and java also and interpreted based languages python perl and php means this will be understood by the machine line by line now in the interpretation process and uh, this is very easy we are not having any steps in this interpretation process uh, this simply you must know that in interpretation process everything will be understood by the machine line by line interpretation process every every line or every word which you have written in the program that will be understood by the machine line by line this is the interpretation process now unlike a compiler an interpreter does not translate the complete code in one go and hand over a full executable file to execute instead an interpreter interpreter translate a single line section of code at a time makes it executable version and run it immediately means small small parts of the program will be executed and it will be uh, running before you to show you the answer now you must know the difference between the compiler and interpreter in the concept of input uh compiler uh, how compiler will react a compiler takes an entire program as its input means the code which you have written it will be considered fully and it will count the number of errors and then after it will give you the number of errors then uh, in the uh, input section in interpreter an interpreter takes a single line of code or single instruction and it will run then in the concept of output how compiler will react it generates immediate object code from the whole program and in interpreter it will not generate an intermediate object code means it will execute it line by line memory required more memory during compilation because uh, it will hold all the programs full length of programs require less memory during the interpretation as interpreter single instruction unit of code at a time now error regarding error how compiler will react displays list of errors and interpreter 
it will not display list of errors it will display the errors one by one now always required which is always required compiler no it is not required always interpreter yes it must be there in the memory because it has to read the line line by line L read the program line by line workload compilation once done stays always and in interpretation it will interpret the code always again and again so in interpreter workload is more because it has to do, to do again and again and in compiler workload is less because once it will do and then it will move from that so in this workload is less now how operating system will work to manage both of these role of operating system in running a program so basically interpreter and compiler will not work alone this you can't install in your computer alone this is the part of operating system and how operating system is managing these tools according to the need this is fully based on the operating systems logic now os as a resource manager it will work as the program or as the situation will come your operating system will act as a resource manager your operating system will manage the memory and the timing for that program execution and which is most uh, favorable for that if compiler is more favorable for compilation or if interpreter is required then operating system will automatically call that part to execute that uh, program now in this multiple programs are run interloaded with the each other so as to improve overall efficiency of the computer like in this resource management many programs can run with each other like multi programming undoubtedly improves the overall efficiency of the computer system by getting more work done in less time cpu means as you are using many programs in your computer system this will be most benefit beneficial for you and your machine also as you are having the less idle time for your computer so your cpu should not wait it should manage the time for uh, sorry between one process and uh, another process there is a time gap so that time gap how your cpu is managing this will enhance the performance of your computer so this is the part of the resource management cpu waits for input operation to get over of to get it over this wait time is cpu's idle time at that time cpu will sit idle so this if you are giving any work and if operating system is managing the work then its uh, working capacity will be enhanced so the os does in this that place makes the cpu sit idle it loads another job for cpu that is another job takes over the cpu increase the efficiency thereby reducing cp cpu idle time so if you are reducing the cpu idle time then definitely you will increase the efficiency of your computer the measure of systems efficiency is throughput we are calling the systems efficiency as throughput and how throughput is calculated how efficiency is calculated how throughput is calculated throughput is equal to number of job completed upon time taken this is called throughput so throughput is very important as uh, we have to uh, calculate the efficiency of the system if we uh, throughput is less then uh, simply you have to increase it throughput should be high now in this we know that how operating system is managing the work this is the process management as you will calculate the efficiency 
process management will be there means computer will manage everything in your system input output system or the execution part of your computer second is your process scheduling process scheduling means everything must be scheduled which program will be executed first and then which program will be executed last so this schedule should be there to just improve the performance of the computer then after memory management we are not talking about any kind of hard disk memory management means we have to deal with the ram and we have to uh, just work with the ram so how the ram is, is free for the other process this has to be taken care by the uh, cpu or by the operating system so this is the most important part in our operating system then after input output management how input is coming how output is just displayed to our system all these things should be considered with the help of input output management so our operating system will manage everything regarding the input output regarding the process management so this is called resource management by the operating system now in this part i am giving you few questions related to this first is why is a program converted to binary from binary form before it can be executed so first thing it is uh, you have to uh, solve it just try to solve it why any data is uh, converted in binary form before it is executed now second is your which of these translates requires memory translate the code execute the code which of these two means uh, try while trans translating the code or while executing the code which needs memory so this you have to think and read this lesson students next topic we will discuss cloud computing very small topic it is and uh, i will give you some more questions after this thank you